All right, summer is coming. It's time for my DIY clothes tutorial and do-it-yourself t-shirt project ideas. Who wants to wear a boring old t-shirt? Not me. This DIY clothes tutorial will show you how to transform a new but boring plain t-shirt or even an old t-shirt to an amazing beautiful top with style, your own style. Here I use different extremely easy DIY t-shirt techniques and shirt cutting ideas. These DIY clothes are perfect for summer for kids and teenagers. First I'll show you how to make a flower t-shirt design. For this project we'll need fabric paint, a small paintbrush, scissors, and believe it or not, you can create a beautiful design using empty toilet paper rolls. Be sure to put a board inside your t-shirt so the paint will not stain the opposite side. Toilet paper rolls dandelion painting technique for beginners is easy and fun to try. You can try different colors. I decided to use shades of blue, lots of light blue, purple and white. It's very easy to mix your own colors. I mix blue, red and white to get a light purple color. You can play with colors. It's just amazing what shades you can get. I drew the stem of a flower with my paintbrush and for a flower I use the empty toilet paper roll which I pre-cut. You can use different shades to give your flower the depth as shown in this DIY tutorial. This t-shirt is just too cute. It's great for sunny days, playing with friends, or even it could be a present for your mom. I like my flower t-shirt so much that in my next DIY t-shirt project, I decided to make more flowers. But this time, I use q-tips for an added effect. Also, for this project, you'll need fabric paint and paintbrush. The benefits of painting with cotton swabs are anyone can do it. To start, let's create several bunches of q-tips before painting. Bunches of 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Like this. I used rubber bands to tie the cotton swabs together. I love flowers. You can also paint a tree or cherry blossoms. But this DIY technique is easy and so much fun to try that your friends will sure want to join in. Flower t-shirts are always in style and look amazing in any situation. I absolutely love this hand-painted t-shirt style. I will totally enjoy wearing this t-shirt around town. For my next t-shirt idea, I've decided to use a stencil, which you can do easily by yourself. Also, we need fabric paint, a paintbrush, sponge, and scissors. I took my boring old school t-shirt and cut it up so it's a bit more fun to wear. Now it's time to use the stencil. It's best to use sticky paper for the stencil but I just used regular paper and I think my t-shirt came out awesome. To make the stencil you can print something or even buy already made ones. I wanted to make my own so I drew a heart and made gorgeous mosaic heart designs of all different sizes within a heart stencil. It's so cute. It's also very important to tap the sponge with the paint in it rather than rubbing it into the fabric. Be sure that the edges are sharp and smooth. I love this t-shirt. This DIY project is my favorite. Isn't it perfect for summer? Again, another boring plain t-shirt. We need to fix that. For this DIY project, we also need fabric paint, stencil, paper, sponge, and scissors. I chose a colored t-shirt for this DIY project. I love dragonflies, and I thought it would be pretty. For the colors to stand out, I chose black fabric paint. I used regular paper for my stencil, which worked out just fine. Also, please be sure to read the paint instructions. Some paint requires heat treatment, which means after 
your DIY t-shirt is dry, you have to iron your new awesome design with a hot iron over a piece of fabric on the top of your painted t-shirt. My dragonfly beautiful for this DIY t-shirt project we'll need a stencil fabric paint and a sponge I like using stencils so much that I decided to make another one this kitty cat I just printed out and cut it out with a sharp cutting tool this is an easy and fun project for all ages and is one of my favorite designs Anyway, who does not like cats? This kitty cat is so cute. I just feel like hugging him. Again, I have a colored t-shirt. So I chose black fabric paint for my black cat. Stencil designs are so easy. Just tap into the fabric and it's ready. Usually I like to give it about 8 hours for my t-shirts to dry before I iron it. Love this cat. Lastly, I made a unique knotted t-shirt with tie-dye designs using fabric paints. For this project, we'll need fabric paint, rubber bands, and scissors. This project is slightly messy. You will need to cover your working space with plastic. Sometimes like a plastic tablecloth will work just fine. I will again cut the stripes on the bottom of the shirt. I'm absolutely hooked to this look and would like to add a little twist to it, like tying knots. It looks very beautiful. Time for coloring! I used a white t-shirt and bright fabric colors. After you have completed putting the dye on the shirt, pop it into a plastic bag for at least 24 hours. Now you have a new collection of adorable shirts, and I'm ready for the summertime. 
DIY clothes projects are so much fun to do that I definitely plan to do more of these projects in the future. Thanks for watching!